Hello and welcome to Bone Slicer's Unreal Tournament 3 video tutorials. Today I'm going to attempt to uh, teach you how to add deco layers to your map. And uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to open up a map that I've already have uh, going on here. Deco layers is uh, one thing you have to remember about deco layers is deco layers can only be painted on a flat surface or pretty near flat because if you try to paint deco layers on a hill they will still look like they're on a flat surface and I want to give you an example before I start painting some I can show you some that I've actually already painted in this map here and if you look you see the grass here now if you look on the hill here very closely you see how it's still like it's on a flat surface they don't know how to paint on a hillside when you paint deco layers they don't know how to paint correctly on a hillside now if you look over here you'll see some mushrooms on a flat surface they do pretty good now see they're up just a little teeny bit, but not that much. You can't really tell when you're in the you know game walking around. But and then over here I have some trees. These are actually also decolaires. You can walk through them. So I'm going to go to the other side of the base here, and uh, I'm going to find a flat surface. Here's a good flat surface right here for painting. And I'll just come over here. Let's see. I'll just come over here and turn myself around. And we're going to add a new deco layer today. So I'll bring up my uh, terrain editing mode. And uh, I'll bring up uh, my generic browser here. And if you've been following all my tutorials, you know how to do all this. And uh, of course, you're going to want to click File and click Open. The well, first thing you want to do here, let's do this. Make sure all resources types are checked for deco layers. Okay, we want to make sure everything's checked. So click File, click Open, double click My Computer. C drive, program files, go down to Unroll Tournament 3 folder, UT game folder, cooked PC folder, environments folder, scroll all the way down to the UN package and you see UN foliage, highlight that and click open. Uh, and then you'll scroll down and you're foliage package and you'll see all these different types of uh, deco layers grass and so forth that you can actually paint and here's some hedges here's some flowers and for this particular uh, one I'll take these right here uh, these plants right here that have two different types of leaves on them and I'll use them what I'm going to do is highlight that and then I'm going to come under here. You can barely see this button right here, but it says New Deco Layer. Go ahead and click that. And a new Deco Layer will be added. And once it's added, you can see it doesn't have an arrow here. So you want to highlight it and right click and make sure it's still highlighted. And then click Add Selected Decoration. Now, once that's done, if you come under here, you can. Uh, highlight it again. Uh, once you have both of them highlighted, you want to come up here to your properties and click that. And under terrain properties, when a box pops up, expand your deco layers, deco layer 3, because yours will be deco layer 0 if it's the first time you've added it. And just keep expanding here 
uh, fan decorations. And you'll see min scale, max scale, density, and some more things here. Uh, change your min scale to 2. Now you can change this to whatever you like. Uh, change your max scale to 2. Hit enter. Change your density to 10. Hit enter. And uh, slope. Don't change your slope to anything. Go down to random seed and change that to 5. I mean 7, I'm sorry. And hit enter. Now, once you've done that, let's move everything out of the way here. We, well, make sure you have, okay, everything's highlighted here. Everything's highlighted over there. Uh, you should be able to highlight the top one there, actually. Uh, and you should be able to, what we have to do here is make uh, strength. So let's try, uh, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do here and make it easier. Let's take and just click one of these here. And it'll give you a strength. Let's see. They're all going to be 100 for deco layers probably. Let's just take one of these. We're going to make it like that. That'll automatically put everything in for you. Make sure you have con constraint checked. Uh, make sure you have in class text t text 3D. Okay, once you have all that ready, make sure you click on paint because you're going to be painting deco layers. It's already highlighted there for you. Go over here and hold down your control key and just click and start painting. Now, it said there is a little buggy, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here in a second. You see, I'm clicking. There it goes. It's finally painting on there. Took a few seconds, though. You got to press, paint, release control to get it to paint sometimes. Now, there you go. You see it's painting. It took a while, but it is painting. There goes another one. So just hold that control down and just keep on turning circles and moving around, and hopefully you'll get a few of these things on here. Okay, let's go here. There we go. Now, you see it is painting them on there. Not as fast as you would expect, but it's there. All right. Come on. Paint them flowers, man. There we go. There we go. Let's see let's, if we move this way, then this kind of maybe it'll do it a little faster. Let's try this. There you go. There we go. So we're having a little area here with nothing but these type of plants. We don't want our whole map. I mean, you could make it the same all the way around if you wanted to, but. I prefer to have different areas with different type of plants. Alright, for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Let's see, I think I'll paint a few more right over in here. Come on, paint for me. There we go. Alright. Can you give me one more right here somewhere? Alright, tell you what, what we're going to do is build all and save. 